Hello, so let's try for production with another Blender quick tip. And this quick tip is an introduction to Flip Fluids. And Flip Fluids is not a free add on, it's a paid for add on. But it makes simulating water simulation really, really easy. And I'm going to show you how to just get into it initially. Now, it's, it's the same thing, and I'll leave a link of it uh, in the description below this video. But once you've installed it on your system, to install it in Blender, it's the same process. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then go to Install. Navigate to where you've installed it. Click on install add-on. From there, let me type it in. You'll see it pops up in the menu. So you just put check in the box and that activates it. And once that's activated, you'll see that there are options here in your toolbar and options also in your side panel. Uh, this is the physics properties. I usually just use this. It has more options to choose from. We're going to set up a quick scene here to simulate or show what flip fluid can do when it comes to just the first few uh, steps with using flip fluids. And I'm going to use this cube. I'm going to use the default cube. <coughs> Excuse me. Pull this up. Always like having my uh, my objects on the x-axis right on top of that. So I'm going to scale this up a little bit. Scale it up a little bit. And we're going to turn this square into a rectangle to have more of an area to work with when it comes to using flip fluids. The scale on the x-axis also, sx on our keyboard. And we want to see through our object. So press the on our keyboard so we can see through it. I'm going to press shift D to duplicate this uh, rectangle. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. We're going to turn this into a ramp. Just to simulate how flip fluid interacts with objects inside of the uh, default uh, cube here. Let's go into edit mode by pressing tab, switch to edge select, choose our move gizmo, left click on that edge and pull this down. Going to left click on that edge to pull this down also. Let's go to once we can see it from the side of you. That looks good. Let's get out of edit mode by pressing tab and we're going to duplicate this uh, rectangle again. So left click on that, shift D, let's get it down a little bit. And we want this to pretty much be the uh, source of the water, where the water is going to come from in terms of it flowing out of an area. So we're going to scale it on the z-axis by pressing SZ. Move our mouse down. We're going to make it shorter by pressing SX on our keyboard and drag our mouse in. And that looks good. They want some more objects for the... Uh, fluid to run into so it can simulate you know, crashing in, water crashing into rocks or tree limbs or branches or even people and to do that we're going to input or put in a uh, ecosphere so shift in our keyboard again go to mesh ecosphere left click on that and drag this up I'm going to pull this up to the top and then shift it again to duplicate that so I'm going to drag this down so it's at the lower part of our ramp here so we have this set up. So let's let's save it. And that's important to do in Blender. Always save just in case Blender crashes. So file, save, and let me see. Let me go to where I can save this. Oh, I saw that. Okay, let me go to tutorials here. Uh, try for tutorials. Flip fluid. Flip fluid. Save Blender file. And in the newer version of Flip Fluids, it will prompt you to save your uh, save your scene before you actually bake the contents of it. Because if you don't, it's not going to simulate. Now at this point, if we press play, nothing's going to happen because it hasn't been baked yet. So let's stop that. Plus we haven't even applied the materials to our scene here. So we're going to left click on the domain cube here. Click on Flip Fluids. And the type, we're going to turn that to domain. This is where the simulation has to happen inside of this uh, domain here. We're going to left click on our cube there and flip fluid again. The type is going to be inflow. I mean, logically speaking, you would pick outflow because water is coming out, but apparently that's not how it was. this add-on was constructed, so you pick inflow. We're going to click on our ramp here, flip fluid again. The type is going to be obstacle. Left click on our ecosphere, flip fluid, turn that obstacle also. Same thing with the second ecosphere, flip fluid type obstacle. Now here is where 
in the newer version of Flip Fluids, it's going to ask you to save uh, your scene. So we're going to do that again, file and save. And then once you've done all that, um, for myself, I'm going to keep the settings the way they are. Let's click on our box here. Because when you click on your box, is where you can make all your changes in terms of the, the baking uh, and the resolution, uh, final resolution and the previous re resolution. Uh, the time is, is fine because this is, you can bump this up to 25 frames per second. I'm going to leave them at 24 because the result is still not that different. And once you've, you're fine with the resolution uh, scale and the preview scale, all you have to do is click bake. Uh, this is not going to take a lot of time, but I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back when the uh, process is finished. Okay, we're back. That took about, I guess, a minute and a half to two minutes. And it's all set, so everything's baked in. Now if we press play, let's see what happens. Play. Oh, let me go back into full view there. Press play, you can see that. The flip forward uh, add-on works great. It's interacting with the the rocks here, rock uh, the obstacles in the scene, which could be rocks or, like I said, tree limbs or feet, and it looks really good. Now, what I do to I'm gonna pause it so I can show you guys what I do in terms of just keeping the resolution low, so I don't have to uh, take a long time when it comes to rendering. I just left click on the fluid itself, press W on my keyboard and shade smooth, and that helps to make it smoother. Like I said before, uh, in order to get a better, smoother result of uh, the fluid itself, you would have to go into the settings here, click on our domain again, and you would have to bump up the resolution to something higher. But once again, once you make it higher, it takes longer time to render. Uh, and to add texture to it, uh, Flip Fluid comes in with uh, built-in textures. So you have to choose the domain once again and let's scroll down. It comes with white water. I've tried white water and it's okay. Uh, but if you click on Flip Fluid Materials or Flip Fluid Presets, you'll see it has all these options here. You can enable presets. These are the picture-based options for the uh, materials. You can have it as coffee, chocolate, caramel, blood, beer, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to uncheck that box and I'm going to go down to this because this gives you more options to change different aspects of the fluid, the surface of it, the white water, so on and so forth. And we're going to go into, let's go into uh, cycles mode uh, so we can see what the textures look like because they look better in cycles than they do in uh, Eevee. I'm going to turn the, <coughs> the world from gray to like, uh, like a sky blue color. And I'm going to turn this um, from Eevee. To cycles. I'm going to use GPU compute because my graphics card is strong enough. I'm going to change this to fast. That really doesn't matter. I just do that just out of habit. But when we go into a different viewport, different viewport shading, you can click on that. You can see that's just white. But once we uh, choose a preset here, which is what we're going to do next, let's go back to our particle system, the surface. You have more options here. Let's turn it to beer. Let's see how that looks. And it does a really good job of simulating those textures as beer. Uh, blood is here. That looks pretty good. It's a glossy. I mean, blood isn't really that glossy, but you can still kind of temper that down a little bit. Turn it to water. Basically ice. Uh, well, the best option I already always use when it comes to water is the ocean volumetric. That gives you more of a realistic looking water simulation. So you click on that, so you can see that there's transparency on the back of it. And you can see little refractions in the water here. So yeah, that's how to use the uh, flip fluid add-ons. You can activate the, uh, the white water aspect if you have a situation where you have like a beach scene or a brook where you have bubbles or, or water, the water crashing up against the banks, things like that. You can add these textures to it also. So yeah, this is uh, just an intro to... Uh, the flip fluid add-on. I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. Right, adios.